Hello. Still on the recent book that was released by Femi Adesina on his account of being, being the media advisor to the president for how many years uh, Buhari Bubu spent in office. Hmm. Now, Ohaneze has um, advised Buhari to come clean about what transpired in Kenya. Uh, Ohanez Ndibo is making demands on Buhari. You know, in a recent book, I don't know whether uh, Femi Adesina released the book for his for Buhari or he, you know, his encounter or based on his own side of the story. And um, he said the federal government under Buhari's watch had option to eliminate Namdekano, but brought him to Nigeria to face trial, which, according to him, was the best option for everybody. The best option for IPOB and the best option for federal government. Because um, there is an, another option. Uh, an earlier option was should they eliminate? No. Why did they thought otherwise? Some people said the UK, this, this, and that. So, according to Ohaneze, um, one of its leader, Isi Guzoro, he said, Buhari should come clean. Certain things transpired. You know, they had international collaborators towards bringing in Namdekano. Nigeria did not just go there, picked up on Namdekano. We know it happened in Kenya. And so, Ohaneze is telling Nigerian government to come clean. And Ohaneze sees this as an international conspiracy against the Igbo race. Yes, an international conspiracy. Um, you know, we've been hearing this went, this and that went, this and that went. They are still calling it extradition. Meanwhile, according to Haneze, let Buhari come clean. We don't want anything on ambiguous accounts or side stories. Haneze is speaking on behalf of Ndibo. They are making these demands. Because it has to be said that according to Ohaneze, there is an international conspiracy against Ndibo. You know, it's, it's as if, I don't know whether there is an, a conspiracy against Ndibo. That is what Ohaneze is pointing at. According to Ohaneze, they initially dismissed this stone called international conspiracy theories against the beloved Igbo brethren. However, now read what Hannes says. However, our suspicion have now transformed into certainties, thanks to the spine-tingling revelations made by Femi Adesina, the former spokesman for former President Buhari. So, you already had that the other day. We shared a material, a video we did about that, um, where they were contemplating whether to. You know, killing or oh. now they ended up asked, okay, let's bring him to Nigeria to come and face court prosecution. According to Hanese, there can be no more delay. The time for telling the truth is now. Mm. Buhari should summon the righteous resolve within him and provide Nigerians with the unambiguous account of the truth. You know, Buhari finally, uh, they concluded he should come and face trial. And when Igbo elders approached Buhari, he told them he would not interfere with the trial. But what did we see towards the end of his tenure? Subverting, disobedient to court rulings rather than accept court rulings. They went to manipulate, move judges away because those judges have shown them their stand. Now, still on this matter, Barry Stagemako has a message for President Tinubu. He said that he should wash off his hands, wash his hands off the antics played by Buhari. That same game played by Buhari that Tinubu should not throw in that direction. Using the judiciary that is supposed to be independent, using them to trample on the fundamental right of his client. His client, in this sense, is Mazen Namdekano. So, T. 
Tinubu is being advised not to throw in that direction. Not a case whereby the court says, oh, he's been he's dismissed um, because of the way he was brought into Nigeria. We cannot entertain this case in any courts. Tinubu should not go and, okay, something must be done because that is what it seems. You remember while he appeared last December in court, everybody was having a high hope he could be freed. The federal government admitted they did wrong. They admitted even they did wrong by invading his house in 2017. They did wrong by the way they brought him through Kenya. They admitted that and just made admission. They said, but he will face trial. Can you imagine? You know, all of this came because of um, Femi Adesina's re recent um, release in, his, in a book launched where he talked about um, Harris' plot to, you know, this and that. So, Buhari said, let him make his case in court instead of giving a terrible impression of the country from outside. That was why, in the case of Kano, I said the best was to subject him to the system. But we saw interferences. We saw uh, uh, several times the executive dictated for the judiciary. Tinubu is advised not to follow the full step of Buhari because it could cause damages. We don't know. He is advised not to follow the full steps of Buhari. Buhari made a lot of gaffes, mistakes. Um, they will tell you, oh, the power is in their hands. They did something wrong. You don't know the damage you are doing to your judiciary. It has come to a point the judiciary has no power. Ejimako is advising Tinubu not to throw in that line. That's, in other words, he's saying there should be no trial. There is no basis for a trial, just like the judges ruled. The judges who were moved, transferred to certain states, just like they ruled. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon, like our Facebook page, join our Facebook group, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.